in today's video, we'll be painting up John Umber from the Song of Ice and Fire miniatures game. Okay, so with John Umber here, what we want to do is we want to make sure he's all primed up. So I've just gone with a light grey primer to start off with him, so it's not too light and not too dark. And then we're going to start off with some Dragon Red. So Dragon Red, we're going to be using over his uh, main bit of uh, clothing he has here. So um, we want to make sure we definitely get in uh, to all those crevices. There's a lot of detail on this model, so going to be working in some probably finer brushes and you might accidentally touch somewhere you don't need to but that's okay because you can always tidy up in the later on steps but we just want to make sure we get a nice good overall uh, clean paint job over the ever everywhere we can in these steps um, but it is not too big of a problem if you accidentally go over other places as well okay so now with that red complete and it did take a few layers to get that red looking nice so don't forget about that we're going to move on with some charred brown now and with charred brown we want to be painting up all john umber's nice big uh bear fur cloak that he has on him since he's from old bear island so making sure we give a good coating everywhere just trying to avoid uh, around his face and that so we don't want a too dark a color covering up all those areas that we're going to be painting later on um, and also you want to make sure that we want to get in between all those little uh, gaps and that that the fur has in there so i have thinned my paints down just a little bit um, and i'm going to be going over with two coats as well Okay, so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to come in with some desert yellow. And the desert yellow we're going to be using to paint in his uh, shirt that he's wearing on top. He's got a little bit of a sleeve poking out, so we're going to come in here with the desert yellow to stand that out. Because we also want to match it with the uh, other umbers that I painted up as well. And I'm trying to follow their, uh, their canon color scheme as close as I possibly can, so that's why we've got all these colors on here. And that's why I've chosen these colors as well. I'll try to get them as close as I can to the official artwork. So once we've got those sleeves all painted up and dried, we're going to come in now with some Barbarian Flesh. And of course, we're going to be using it to be painting up John Amber's skin. So I have done this down a little bit so I can get into all those cracks and creases. And I'm not worried too much about how rough I'm being right here since he's got um, some facial hair. And I want to make sure I can get in between all those areas of the facial hair. And you can see the skin underneath that. So it's got a little bit of jamming the brush in there to get all over coverage. So with the face painted up, what we're going to be doing now is coming in with some fur brown. And we're using the fur brown to be doing a dry brushing. And we're going to be doing the dry brushing uh, just over his bare cloak that he's got on. So the uh, reason why I'm doing some of the dry brushing now, if we go too far into the face detail, is so if I accidentally uh, nick the face with the dry brush, it's not too bad to come in and uh, tidy up the face a little bit. But I don't want to be doing it later on once we've done all the details on the face here. So that's why I'm trying to do the cloak now. And then once that fur brown's all dry brushed up, it's time to come in with some monster brown, which is an even lighter brown. And we're going to be doing the same thing, which is just giving it another dry brush, because I want a lot of uh, colour and variation on our bear cloak that we've got here. So just giving it another once over and getting into different areas, so we've got a different level of colour in different spots as well. So I'm using it harder and lighter in certain places as well. Now we have his cloak all painted up, it's time to move on. So we're going to use some khaki here. And what I'm going to be using the khaki for is to just be doing the trim around uh, his armored up skirt he's wearing here. So there's a little bit of a trim that has a bit of a, a, a cloth like sewing texture to it because all these little metal plates have to be sewn uh, to the skirt. So we're just going with a light khaki color to do this and painting all underneath the feet area and that as well in there to give it some uh, uniform look because we don't want it to be... Uh, sort of black and hollow there because it would uh, detract from the actual piece so now we have that skirt trim all painted up we're going to come in now with some leather brown i'm going to be using the leather brown to be painting up his uh, boots and we want to also be painting up his gloves as well so now when you're doing the gloves he does actually have some uh, armor plating on them as well so we want to be avoiding that and we just want to be painting the areas where we can see the natural leather of the gloves so it's nice and easy to pick out because he's got these big plates on him. Um, so we just want to be being careful and keeping that in mind when we're painting up these parts. Okay, so with those boots and gloves painted up, what we're going to be doing now is moving on with some ash grey. And ash grey we're going to be using to be painting up John Umber's cloak that he's wearing just underneath his bare skin cloak. So ash grey is uh, the nice... Uh, 
light gray color that I've been using for uh, all my other umbers as well. So this is just to tie them in and all the commanders of my Stark army that I've been painting up have had this uh, light grayish blue cloak. So coming in with the ash gray is just going to match it nicely with the rest of my army. Yeah, you can paint this whatever color you need to to match your army so all of your Starks look uniform. So I'm just using the ash gray here to do this and of course we want to make sure we get everywhere we can and giving a nice overall coverage. Okay, so now we've got that painted up, it's time to come in with some necromancer cloak now. I'm going to be using necromancer cloak to be painting up all the hair that John Umber has on him. Now I've found a few conflicting results on what color uh, John Umber's hair is. Some of them show him as gray hair, some show as black. Um, it's been hard to find a concise uh visual for what i needed to but i've just followed the uh box art that i have on here and he has a uh, thick dark hair so i'm going with this necromancer cloak for as close as what i can get to his hair color so of course i'm using a nice fine tip brush to get in those areas where his uh, beard is because we want to make sure we keep that detail involved on the miniature so with his hair all painted up, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to come in with some just straight black. And I'm going to be using the black to be painting up his uh, scabbard that he has on him. And I'm also going to be using it to be painting up the uh, handle of his uh, blade as well. I'm going to have him a nice dark weapon with a real uh, dark scabbard on the back too. So it's going to pop out all that color that we've got on there as well. And give him sort of a menacing... Um, a look to them as well so just giving everywhere uh, a nice overall coat and being very careful not to get it anywhere else since we're dealing with black so now with all that painted up it's time to be moving on with some metallics so starting off with a gun metal here because we want a nice uh, dark metal to start us off with so we can highlight it up so gun metal of course is the perfect choice for this and we want to be making sure we paint up all of those nice metal plates that he has on his skirt as well as his uh, sword and we also want to make sure that we paint up uh, he has a little bit of uh, shoulder armor on him as well and some chain mail and of course we want to make sure we get those uh, parts of his gloves that he's wearing that are armored up on the top as well as you can see here so giving everywhere a nice coating of our gun metal before we move on to the next step all right so now that we have all those metallics painted up time to move on to some other areas so starting off with some oak brown what we're going to be doing is we're going to be painting up a lot of these straps. So we want to be painting up this nice big one along his uh, chest here that goes across to his back, holding a scabbard up, we want to make, and as well as the one that's sort of holding all his clothes together. We want to be making sure that we paint them all up with a nice oak brown. It's a nice dark color on there as well. Uh, so just being careful, I've come in with a nice fine tip brush so I can really get under all those details and get the paint job where we need it to okay so with all those leather straps painted up we're going to come in now with some fur brown and as you can see on the miniature there's a few straps and um, parts that I've missed so I'm coming in with the fur brown to do this now I've intentionally done this so we've got a little bit of color variation in all our straps I didn't want to paint them all the same oak brown as they would start blending together pretty quickly so picking out another uh, color for this and I chose um, fur brown to do this since we've only used it so far as um, a highlight on our dry brushing of his cloak so it's not going to be too noticeable when we use it in another place entirely so just giving it a good overall uh, coverage here okay so now we have all those straps painted up what we're we'll doing now is coming in with some skeleton bone and skeleton bone we're just going to be using that to cover up our horn here that uh, john umber has for when he's doing his war cries so we want to give that a nice skeleton bone color so we can get that uh, realistic horn color so this is going to be the good uh, base color to start off with to do this okay so with that skeleton bone on there we're going to come back in now with our leather brown and what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be picking out one end of the horn and just so i've just gone with the tip of the horn here and i'm dragging it back towards the uh, other side of the horn giving it that uh, more realistic look that horns have when they're more than one tone of color so just keeping that in mind with some little streaks Okay, so now what we're going to be doing, once we have all that done and dried up, it's time to start our washes. So starting off with flesh wash here, and of course we're just going to be using this for over John Umber's uh, skin that he has exposed, as well as I'm just using it on his hair as well, to give it a little bit of a variation in colour, um, since we've got 
uh, it everywhere and it's going to be a little bit hard to avoid some of the places on the face so once we, the flesh wash is completely dry what we're going to be doing now is coming in with some agrax earth shade now we're going to be using this over a lot of the rest of the model so pretty much we're going to be putting the agrax earth shade everywhere that we do not have metallic colors on so we want to make sure we get it on the fur of our bare skin we want to be getting it in his underclothes and uh, the part where his uh, skirt trim is even over uh, the horn a little bit and his scabbard as well we want to make sure we're getting it really everywhere so we can be a little bit messy with this but we just definitely want to make sure we avoid any of our metallic areas because we don't want to be tinting that brown so giving it a nice overall coat everywhere and waiting for it to dry and don't forget if it pulls up you can come back in with uh, an empty brush and just suck up a little bit of that wash to get rid of that strong color that we have in some places okay so once we have all that brown wash completely dried time to come in with some known oil and we want to make sure we cover everywhere that we've placed our metallics on so so over a skirt over a sword everywhere that we've placed metallics so known oil of course is my go-to wash for anything metallic i just love the effect it gives off and of course don't be uh afraid to be a little bit careful around this area since we've got that horn on there as well okay so now with all those washes completely dry time to come in with some highlights so barbarian flesh of course what we use for our skin and we just want to be picking out the high points on john umber here so that's his cheeks that are popping out his nose and his forehead it's giving a nice little bit of this brighter color to give them that impression that light is hitting them and we've got some nice uh, places to stand out with the paint job all right so now we're going to be moving on back to our dragon red and we want to be picking out just the high points of course of everywhere that we have red and just basically sort of like catching the the edge here of his little skirt that he's got um, just picking out some of the highlights in the folds and that so we can have some uh, nice bit of uh, visual interest especially when it's on the table coming back that light is hitting it from different angles and then once we've done that red we want to come back in with some ash gray and we're going to highlight up um, our cloak that he's got on him so this has some nice big flat areas so some nice areas we can come in and pick them up because they're nice and blowing out in the wind so some nice good high points on those parts as well okay so now what i'm going to be doing is using some chainmail silver here and we're going to be using that to be picking out the high points of all our metallic areas so got this nice rim here on the edge of his armor these little rivets so we want to pick out those types of things uh, as well as the edge here that he's got on his uh, armored up gauntlet and the blade of our sword we want to be picking those out as well just sort of running it along the edge and what i'm also going to be doing on this is i'm just going to be picking out a few of uh the armor platings he has on his uh armored up skirt that he has here i'm just going to be picking out a few of them and just dotting on some of the chainmail silver on the ones that would naturally be catching the light so all the raised ones uh to give it the look like uh, light is coming down and shining off of his skirt and then once all that is complete you have just got to do the base so i'm just going to be painting the base up in a simple black color because i haven't um come up with a scheme yet that i want for uh, my armies to have and i'm basically what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be painting the full lot of all the miniatures i have before i come up with an army scheme and uh that nice basing material so whatever you want to place here i'm just going with the simple black And with that we have completed painting up john umber from the song of ice and fire miniatures game and john umber here is going to be a nice addition to any stark army you have for him so i hope this video has been helpful for you whether you want to paint him along for your own army or you just enjoy watching me paint up some cool miniatures so i'd like to thank you all again for watching and i can't wait to see you guys in the next video